Hi, first grade. Welcome to today's math class. It's Miss Weaves. Um, today we are going to be finishing up our time unit and we're going to talk about telling the time on analog and digital clocks. You're going to need the digital clock that you made yesterday to um, practice moving the hands around. You'll also need a piece of scratch paper where you can write the time that we see on digital clocks. Um, that's it. So let's get started. Today's learning target is I can tell time in hours and half hours using analog and digital clocks. Before we begin, let's take a quick minute to review what we talked about yesterday and the two steps we have to do when telling time. When you tell time, the first thing you have to do is you always look at the hour hand. Um, on a digital clock, you'll always look at the hours. On an analog clock, the hour hand is the small hand and it points to the numbers we see on the clock. These numbers represent the hours and we read around the clock, one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, Step two is reading the minute hand. Um, on an analog clock, the minute hand is the long hand. And we read the little tick marks around the clock. We learned yesterday that there are 60 minutes in an hour. So there's 60 of these little marks that are in a clock because there's 60 minutes but we don't count by ones, we count by fives. Every time we see one of these numbers, it's five minutes, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So today we're gonna to be practicing reading the hour and the minutes. When you see a digital clock, digital clocks are much easier than analog clocks to read because they tell you the hour in the minutes. Um, the first number you see on a digital clock right here, this number is the hours. And the two dots on a digital clock separate the hours from the minutes. So we have hours, then we have minutes. On this clock, we read it as 10 o'clock. When you see no minutes, you say o'clock. Let's take a look at this digital clock. This digital clock shows the hour. You can read that. Five, these dots separate the hour from the minutes. So this clock reads 5.30. Okay. Now we're ready. What we're going to do is we're going to look at our digital clock and see if we can't represent our digital clock over here on our analog clock over here. All right. So when you see, here's our uh, cell phone. And our cell phone tells us the time. Here is the time. It's also up here. The time on this clock is nine o'clock. So over here, we'll draw the hour hand and the minute hands. Get your clock ready, get your pen ready. The short hand will point to the nine and the minute hand points straight up to the 12 for nine o'clock. You'll notice right here, there's zero minutes. Um, and that's represented over here with the zero, zero. Once we start going around the clock, then these are our minutes, one minute, two minute, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes. But when it's zero minutes, we say o'clock. All right, let's try the next one. This is the coffee maker. Here's the time. Can you read it? Good. 
8.30. Now let's write 8.30 on our analog clock. 8 is the hour, so you write the hour hand first. 30 are the minutes. Now remember, yesterday when we talked about writing minutes, a funny thing happens to the hour hand as the minutes pass by. The hour hand slowly moves from one hour to the next. So when it's 8.30, you don't want to put your hour hand directly at the 8. It might be somewhere in between the 8 and the 9. So that's going to be my hour hand, 8, and here's my minute hand, 30, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Remember, 30 is halfway around the clock. All right. Can you find the clock in this car dashboard? What time is it? You're right. It's 3.30. Can you write 3.30 on your analog clock? Do the hour hand first. 3.30. Remember, you're going to need to put your 3 halfway in between the 3 and the 4. 3.30. 30. 30 minutes It's halfway around our clock. 5, 10, 15, 20. 25, 30. Good job. All right. This one, what time is it? You're right. It's 615. Can you write 615 on your analog clock? Do your hour hand first and then do your minutes. Six. We need 15 of these. But we don't want to count by ones. Let's count by fives. Five, 10, 15. Good job. OK. Now we're going to see some analog clocks. And I'm going to ask you to write the time digitally. Let's think. What time does it say on this clock? Well, we know we have to do two things. First, the hour hand, then the minute hand. Here's our hour hand. 10, I'm gonna separate my hour from my minutes. And here's my minute hand. Let's count around by fives. Five, 10, 15. 10, 15, good. Uh-oh, what time is it on this clock? Hmm, don't let it trick you. Reach your hour hand first. Let's find out what hour this is. One o'clock, two o'clock, Three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, nine o'clock, ten o'clock. Ten o'clock. Now, how many minutes? Well, I know each of these are five minutes, even if it doesn't have the tick marks. It's always five minutes, so let's count. Five, 10. Hmm, is it all the way on the 10? Nope, 
So it's somewhere between five and 10 minutes. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Hmm. So you know what? I'm just gonna make a guess. It's about 5.08. How about this watch? What time is shown on the analog clock? Read the hour hand first and then the minute hand. Hours. Minutes. All right, the hours aren't marked on my clock, but I'm not gonna let that trick me. I know what these rectangles are supposed to be. One, two, this one doesn't even have a rectangle, but I know the three goes right here. Four, five. Okay, so it's five o'clock. Now I need to figure out how many minutes right here. This watch does give me the minutes, so it can help me count around by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, five, 32. All right. Well, that's the end of today's lesson. I hope you have fun. Look for clocks, digital clocks and analog clocks around your house. And we will see you next math class. Bye.